Hello guys, I'm making this quick video because there's a lot of people been asking me how do I connect my guitar into my iMac and this is related to the GarageBand videos so I'm gonna make a quick tour demo so you guys can see how to connect your guitar in my case I connect in a different way but um, it's really simple first of all many people ask me what I have here this little blue box well in this case this is the M-Box 2 from DigiDesign and this is a, an, an audio interface. It's, um, it's an external audio interface that connects to my computer via, in this case, like it's an MBOX 2 via USB. And so, just so you know, this is USB 1.1. It's really kind of old, not so fast, but I never had any problem. All right, next there's um, uh, an external hard drive. Uh, you're gonna need one if you're gonna edit and recording audio I'm not talking about GarageBand but if you get a little more serious and start to work with the Pro Tools or Logic you need um, it's not a very large audio drive depends on, 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 your, work, on how your work flows, your work flows. but um, this is just one 160 gigabyte it's a uh, lazy uh, back then they were really expensive it's a Firewire 400 and I use it connected to also to my Mac so my main audio interface is this one and um, from here I connect my guitar. There are several inputs in the back from microphones to instruments to, to jack to guitar and uh, I have here control to preamp and uh, to phantom power for mics, condenser mics and uh, headphone and master volume really easy, Not, nothing special about it. Then from this it goes two jacks one to the, um, the left tannoy and the other to the right tannoy and uh, these two monitors are b amped which means they have their own amplifiers inside so you don't need to buy an, an extra amp to give them sound they are rated at 60 watts like 40 for the, the woofer and uh, 20 for the to, to the highs so basically this is it if you don't have uh, an external audio editor uh, editor sorry uh, interface like a like i have here you can connect to your mac if your mac is a an, an, uh, macbook you have um, on the left side of the MacBook, you have this little um, this little mini jack there on the on the um, on the right, which is for headphones. On the left, it's your input. So I'm gonna have to connect one 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 of these, you know, one of these. But this this is not really the 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 the, the, the one because this has two stripes, which means it's stereo. You have to to get one with just one black stripe. Which means it's mono. You're not going to guitar. You're not going to connect your guitar stereo because you have no signal at all. So what I'm going to do? Imagine this is um, a mono one. I plug it in here, not on the headphones, but just on the on the mini input. So there you got you. This is the the internal uh, audio interface uh, sound card from the the MacBook. Then you connect your guitar here. Um, you can also do this by buying a cable that is already in one side. Um, like this, where it is, it's here, see, just one stripe, black one, and on the other side, like this, just one stripe also, this is stereo, remember that. So, uh, in order to get a better sound, I advise you to get uh, an external audio interface, there are really cheap ones are now on the market from M-Audio, and um, Apogee, and even the M-Box too, it's, uh, you have the mini M-Box too, it's cheap. The other, the other speakers around is just for, um, they are the J JBL, just for listening to music, not for producing or anything like that. So, uh, in case you're wondering, this little uh, white case is just for reading cards to make my movies, now that I got the camera. So in this case, uh, I'm working here in a project in Pro Tools. As you can see, I've got two different amps, uh, the 11 and the Sans amp. And, um, I really need an audio, uh, an external hard drive, so there's a lot of uh, space that goes here. Just a quick listen. I'm working here on some project, this is really weird. I don't know where it goes. From here, where I'm sitting down here, it's important you to get your monitors at your uh, ear level. 
and uh, not very distant from each other, like my, making a triangle. You know what I mean? And uh, from here, where I'm sitting, I can get a really cool um, stereo perspective from the audio I'm receiving. So uh, basically, this is it. And um, sorry, I hope you guys understand now the the thing about the mini jack and how to input for GarageBand. Okay, thank you for watching. Cheers.